So starting the test drive in this Encore GX, having the CVT, especially with this 1.3 liter turbo three, it does allow for decent power coming out of a stop, like turning out of a parking lot or something. It's not quick, but it just gets you up to speed without necessarily straining the engine. But all in all, from a driver's point of view, I like that the hood is sloped down, makes it easier to see. And if you're in a vehicle like this, you might have trouble seeing as it is, or I should say driving without hitting things as it is. So it's nice that you have all the assistance you need from the backup camera to just having very good forward visibility. But all in all, you do have that Buick sound acoustic quality. I've said this before, and even the older Buick Encore GXs, the sound acoustics in here are very nice. The engine isn't overly loud within the cabin. But I also like just how, as I put my foot down, the passing power that you get in this vehicle. But fuel economy numbers are right there. But you're rated to get 29 city 31 highway in this vehicle. But again, the ride quality is superb. And this is also one of those vehicles that a lot of people are going to because it's one of the easiest to get in and out of because you don't have to necessarily reach down or reach up to get in the seat if you're older, if you have back problems or whatever. And with a panoramic sunroom, still have a couple inches of headroom but I like that the seat bottom is rather wide for someone of my stature. And I'm gonna put it into low gear now and we'll see how this shifts. So because it's a CVT and they're not actual shifts, it does, it's pretty responsive in terms of quote unquote downshifting, upshifting. But of course, with the help of the turbo, you can really get a nice pull depending on where you are. But I like having that system if you are a sportier driver, let's say you're borrowing someone's vehicle for the weekend, it still can be fun. It's not particularly fast, but it's not a slouch either. And I think that one of the reasons that these are so, I guess such a good deal is because it has several different ways that it can be used. So if you're gonna use it for a commuter, you can do that. If you're somebody who only goes out on the weekends or you're older and you just needed to beat around town in and go shopping, you can do that. Because it's still roomy, especially if it's just you and you fold down this seat here. You can fit all the knickknacks and whatever you get at local yard sales you can in here. But then it can also be, I, for a smaller family, I think maybe three, if you have four people, or if you're just shorter, older people and you just need to be able to haul your friends around, you have that usability as well because even with the second row up, you still have a relatively nice amount of space in the cargo area. But then also if you're a younger college kid or you're single living in an apartment, you want something that's easy to drive, it's nice to have this because again, if you wanna take it on a road trip, you can do that. If you wanna take it 
to the store and buy up as much stuff as you can and fill, fill the whole vehicle up with the seats folded down you can. And maybe if you even need to do some light hauling in terms of materials for building a tree house, you can do that as well. That might be pushing it a little bit, but you, you get what I mean. Just an all around usable vehicle. But with all that being said, this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Buick Encore GX and the Sport Touring trim level.